What's up, guys? This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I got to upgrade one of our all-in-one Dell 9030 machines. Uh, it has a SATA drive. I believe it's about 500 gigabytes. It's going bad, so it's time for me to upgrade it. I'm going to upgrade it with a SanDisk solid-state drive, 240 gigs, and I also picked up the, the newer tech uh, adapter for the solid-state drive so I can hook it up. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so first things first, we need to place this guy flat down. Uh, but also keep in mind that the 9030 all-in-one from Dell comes in different versions. Uh, it comes with the anti-glare and also the touch screen. So if you do have the touch screen version, make sure you put it flat down. Put something soft on it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to make sure that I carefully put the all-in-one down on a hard surface so it won't crack or scratch up. Once you got the all-in-one 9030 flat down, secure, we need to remove this guy right here, the stand. There's a button in the back, just press it and just lift up. Awesome. Let's put that to the side. Next, once you have the stand out, you need to remove the back panel. There's two latches right here. So just put it to the side. And once you do that, we just need to lift up. Now when you're lifting up, you should hear that clicking sound. But make sure you don't put too much pressure or force it because these little guys right here, this little kind of hook thing could break and crack. I've had, you know, bad experience with that. So let's just remove this guy out. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's put it to the side. All right, so once we have it open, we need to locate the hard drive on the 9030. Uh, the hard drive... I'm assuming it's located here. I haven't done this for a while. So I'm gonna push this level down and then just slide it to the side. Let me see if I could do that. There we go, just lift it up. Awesome sauce. Let's put that to the side. And the hard drive is right there. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so we need to remove this hard drive. So this guy has like a like, nice little blue brace. So you're gonna push it down and then slide. There it goes. And then take it out, cool. Now it's really easy to remove the kind of bracket. All you're gonna do is just pull and pull the other side as well. And it's kind of, it kind of sucks because I spend extra money for the cradle. Uh, this is a SATA, so let's put this to the side. We're going to take this beautiful solid state drive from SanDisk. This is a 240 gig size. Once I install it, I need to put the back panel back and as well as the stand. And I need to uh, pixie boot it so I could slap in the operating system and get it up and running for the user. So it says remove before installing. Awesome. You want to put it the same way. That you just took out the original. So we're gonna drop this guy like that. Awesome. And boop, boop, and that's it. Done. Sweet. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. So we're gonna drop it back in to the slots. And then all you're gonna do is just make sure you push this down. So I'm gonna push it with my thumb and then slide it in. Make sure it's nice and secure. And that's it. Solid state drive is already inserted. That was pretty easy. So we're gonna get this uh, metal casing back and we're gonna put it back, make sure none of the wires are trapped. I've had a bad experience that I'm placing back uh, one of these guys and the hook and the wire got caught and it kind of broke, so <laughs> sucks. So let's put this guy back carefully. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Once you have that there, there it goes, there it goes, good. We're gonna push it back until we hear the click. Awesome, it's clicked, it's locked in there, beautiful. All right, once we have the casing back in place, we need to get the back part, and what you wanna do is just tilt it a little bit. You wanna line it up, and once you have it lined up, Make sure none of the cables at the top, especially the cables for the webcam, is not being trapped by the casing. Again, I've had a lot of bad experience with that as well. Let's 
drop it in there. Awesome. And you just want to put, you want to firmly put some pressure all the way around. But also, if you have the 9030 with the touch screen, don't put too much pressure because you don't want to crack the screen. All right, it's going to lift it up a little bit. There you go. Just put some pressure in the corners. Now, best practice is if you do have the 9030 with the touch screen, just put cloth on the knee or a pillow, whatever. Whatever gets the job done. Awesome. Okay, once you got the back casing nice and secure, lock down all the way around. There's no gaps, there's nothing, there's no cables lingering. Uh, what you want to do is right here on the side, like in the very beginning, just push it in to lock it. Awesome. And the last thing you want to do is put back the monitor stand. So in adjacent, in an angle, like that. Make sure those two metal pieces are in there. And just, that's it. You're good to go. Awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoy this quick video of upgrading the Octoplex 9030 all-in-one SATA drive with a solid-state drive. I'm super happy uh, that I didn't have to use this. I can return it back, get my money, which is a plus. So uh, that's great. Now, the next thing I need to do is hook it up to the network, Pixie Boot, push out the operating system, get all the drivers and all the software up and running for the user for Monday morning. So I'm excited about that. That's about an hour of work, and we're good to go.